Hey everyone, it's Chad with Priority One Holsters, and today I want to show you some of the different mounting options you can get for your modular outside the waistband holster. So I've got some in front of me that we sell on our website. We'll also go over some that will fit our holster that we may not offer for sale. So this is the no mount option. If you check out with no mount on our website, this is how your holster will come. It'll depend on which model you get. This is a P320 with Surefire X300, and I have some of the Priority One version and some of the GBRS group version. It's all the same mounting surface, so it'll fit the exact same way. So you'll get a holster with installed retention assemblies if you choose no mount, but it will include no belt attachment. It does include the hardware to mount attachments to it, so that way if you have one laying around, you can go ahead and throw it on. It's set up for Blade Tech and Safari Land. It'll fit a ton of other companies like Springer Precision or True North Concepts, and then it also has a slotted one inch uh, hole spacing for attachments like the paddle and some other ones. So the next step would be the paddle attachment. This is kind of a step up. It's a one inch slotted belt attachment and it is adjustable for cant. And it will go either in between your clothing or in between your belt and your pants. And this is a good option if you need something quick and easy to go to the range, easy to get on, easy to get off. The next step up would be the combat loop, which is the one I have here. It is a push button release opens right up and it has these two adjusters to fit different widths of belts and then once you close this on your belt you simply slide it and it locks the mechanism shut so that's a pretty solid option that's my favorite the last one is the drop offset mount so if you need to clear like a plate carrier or something like that and you need to drop your holster down off your body a little bit this is great or if you're shooting competition and you want a really relaxed draw position this is a great option too so this one threads through your belt and then it has additional holes if you want to add a leg strap so when using the drop offset mount, it puts the holster further away from the mounting point, which can cause movement. So that's why the leg strap uh, holes are there. If you need to uh, stiffen up the whole assembly, that's the option to do it. Okay, so how these would mount to the belt is going to look like this. Today we'll be using a GBRS group instructor belt uh, for demonstration, and I have one of our paddles, one of our combat loops, and I already have a drop offset mount on there because it requires you to take apart the buckle to slide it on. The paddle in the combat loop, you can actually put on and off a belt without removing hardware from the belt. So the paddle mount slides right over like this. The combat loop, you would push that button to release the locking mechanism, slide it over your belt, close it, and then finally slide it to lock. So this will give you an idea of how they sit on your body and on the belt, give you an idea of the ride height difference between the drop offset mount and the combat loop and the paddle. And again, if you're looking for the most security, this is the best option. If you're looking for a lower ride height to clear plate carriers or for competition shooting, this is the option for you. And if you just want something to throw on and off real quick to run to the range, the paddle is a great attachment for that.